Hi everybody, let's check it out how to make pekasam. There are several methods available, however, the one that we share here is the traditional recipe that been used for local industry in my village. At first, for the ingredients, we need to have coarse salt, asam slices, freshwater fish, and rice. Now let's continue with the processing step. At first, the fish need to be cleaned by removing its viscera and gills and also rinse it with water thoroughly. After that, the fish need to be salted using coarse salt. Make sure salt cover all part of the fish. Then, put it in a closed container and add salt some more. After that, the fish need to be fermented at room temperature for 3 to 5 days or 2 weeks. Meanwhile, while waiting, let's prepare the ingredients for second step. Next, for the second step, the rice need to be roasted. And make sure during roasting, the heat use is low until the rice turns into golden brown. The rice need to be stirred thoroughly to ensure the rice are properly roasted. After the rice been roasted, it need to be grind into a small particle size using electric grinder. Then take it back the fish that already be ferment and rinse it with water. Then it need to be covered with the grinded roasted rice that been prepared previously. Put it in a closed container and add some of asam slices. Then, the fish need to be ferment for 2 weeks before it ready to be cooked. Tara, Here the result of our pukasam after 2 weeks. Finally, our delicious pukasam is ready to be fried. Okay guys, that's all for the way how to make pekasam by using traditional method.
Firstly, approximately 200 gram of glutinous rice are weighed and poured into a rice cooker. Then, rinse the glutinous rice using tap water. Pour 200 ml of tap water into the rice. And then, cook the glutinous rice using rice cooker until it is fully cooked. After that, cooked glutinous rice are transferred into a clean plate and let it cool to a room temperature. Take 1 teaspoon of ragi into a sieve and squash it into a powder. Next, sift the ragi thoroughly onto the cooked glutinous rice. Then, the ragi are mixed thoroughly using a clean spatula. After it is well mixed, put a spoon of glutinous rice into a banana leaf and wrap properly. Then, the wrapped glutinous rice will be transferred into a tight container and covered with a clean towel. Lastly, left it into a room temperature and let it ferment it to 2 days. After fermented to 2 days, the tapai is ready to be served. Ensure the tapai is fluffy. Give it a try.